Okay, we are going to be making a bag tag using SketchUp Web, the free version, uh, or SketchUp for schools on the web, same tools. What we're first going to do is we're going to create a new file starting here in our dashboard. Then we're going to name it, save it, name it, and then we're going to build our foundational base uh, for our bag tag. So we're going to come up here in the upper left. We're going to find the arrow down next to create new, and we're going to choose decimal millimeters, and we're going to give it a moment to load. Here we are. We're in decimal millimeters. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to save our file. To save our file, we go up to the title. We click on the untitled, and you need to save your file uh, either in your Google Drive if you're using for schools and go to your applied STEM lab folder, or if you're just in SketchUp free, save it in your SketchUp files. We're going to call this your, use your STEM lab number and your last name. Let's call it bag tag. And I'm going to hit save. And now it's named. The nice thing is when you download this file, when you go to save this file later, the file that's downloaded and saved and, and, and uploaded will be this name here. So it's really important that we start out by naming our file. Now that we've done that, we need to double check our measurements to make sure we are in millimeters. Uh, so I come down here to the lower right hand corner and I find the uh, on this toolbar, <laughs> it's called the model info button and it's a circle with an I in it. And when you click on that, you will see the length, the units, we will see 0, 0.0 mm. And when it says precision, I like to move that over to 0, 0.00. And you'll also see the snap interval uh, will change. And what I'd like to do on that snap interval is I'd like to change that to zero millimeters. And when I hit enter, it will default it to the smallest unit, which is 0 0.01. That means you're ready to go. Again, 0, 0.0 millimeters in format. Precision should be 0, 0.00. And our snap interval should be 0, 0.01 mm. Once you're done with that, you can click the I, or I'm sorry, up to the upper right, click the arrow to hide that toolbar. We don't need that anymore. So let's look at our workspace. Right here is our origin, and here's our guy. I think his name is Ty. We're going to leave him here just so that we know that what we make is not too large. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so that and pan around a little bit so that we orbit around, excuse me, so that I could get this workspace nice and ready to work. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle. So I'm going to come over to the toolbar on the left and choose rectangle. I'm going to bring my mouse to the origin. You'll see a little dot let you know that you're kind of snapped to that origin. I'm going to click once and I'm going to release that mouse button. I'm going to drag out like this and I'm going to click one more time and let go of the mouse. Once I let go of the mouse, if I look in the lower right hand corner, of the screen. It'll show me how big I actually made that. That's okay. You're going to type in the following numbers. 75 mm comma 25 mm and hit enter and now you have a 75 by 25 millimeter rectangle. And if I zoom out just a little bit, you'll see how small that is compared to our uh, statue guy named Ty. All right, so now that we have a rectangle, we are now going to make sure that we uh, get it to the right height. So to do that, we're going to come over to the left-hand side. We're going to find our push-pull tool, and we're going to click on this piece, and we're going to bring it up just a little bit. Again, I clicked and released, and I started to pull up, and I'm going to type in 3mm and hit enter and it's going to set it. Let's show that one more time. I click and pull. I just click and release. I move my mouse upward and type in 3mm. Hit enter and I now have a three millimeter tall rectangle. We're almost done by with creating our base. We just have a couple other steps. I'm going to hit the space bar or come over and click the arrow to uh, get rid of the push pull tool. I'm going to orbit around a little bit more. I'm going to pan up just a little bit. I orbit by using the scroll on the scroll mouse 
by clicking that like a button, and I pan by holding the shift key and clicking and moving that. Uh, you can use the orbit tool here or the pan tool here to move if you would like. So uh, again, back to our arrow. We're now ready to add some dimensions to our object. I want to know that this is 75, and I want to know that this is 25. In order to do that, we're going to come over here, find the tape measure or the dimension tool. You'll see these tools. I want you to come to the second tool down called the dimensions tool. If I hover over it, it'll actually say dimensions. I'm going to click on that to activate the tool. And there's two ways to dimension. You can come and go corner to corner and pull it out, or undo. I can come to this part right here, it turns blue, and then I just pull it out just a little bit. I can do the same over here, click on that, drag it out, click again. It now shows that this is 25 and that this is 75 millimeters. That is getting our base prepared and dimensioning our length and our width of our object. So we're ready to go on to our next project. Before we do, I like to come up and hit save just to make, our, make sure our project is saved and ready to go on to the next step.